defensively, the end of the first half and the end of the game, you guys played at a really high level. What, what did you guys do that what was working to, to limit the other team? Uh, I think we got down 62 to 57, so we were down five. So we knew with three minutes left, so we knew we really had to, you know, clamp up to win. I don't think they scored in the last three minutes, so just being extra focused. How do you get that mindset for longer periods of time? Because when you know you're down five and you got to turn it on at that point and you do it, that shows that you could probably do it more than that, right? Yeah, it, it's hard, you know, especially because it's, it's a team game, so everyone has to buy into the same thing. So, you know, I think we did a good job in an LMU. So if we can carry that over, it'll be really good. What about uh, when you guys look at the film attacking zone defenses? Uh, you had some success with it early, but then later in the game, the team kind of struggled attacking it. Yeah, we watched it. We felt uh, for the guards especially, we didn't do a good job attacking, attacking gaps. We were passing a lot on the perimeter. We were actually passing along the NBA line instead of putting pressure on them from the college line. Uh, you know, so for us, we want to get in more gaps, you know, put more pressure on the defense. When teams, uh, you know, go back and not try to crash the offensive board, how does that change your uh, mentality when you when you get the ball and you're trying to push it up court and you already see maybe like four or five defenders already back? Yeah, it's, it's different. I remember a lot in that game getting the ball and seeing everyone back. So uh, I know Jay Hill. He told me, "Why aren't you like going fast?" I was just like, "Everyone's back." So uh, it's different, but you know we can combat that. You know we. They don't get a chance to have good uh, offensive rebound opportunities, so that's good for us. So, you know, just finding out how we can get better in half court so we can combat that. How impressed have you been with Jalen Hill's uh, defense so far, especially late in that game, making that big play? Yeah, a lot. He, uh, before the block, he had the, he hit a, he did a handoff, he hit it off the defender's foot. So that's two big plays to, you know, really close out the game. So it's really big for us. You know, the block, he hit it so hard, it started a fast break. So like, <laughs> I was crazy, so his defense is really good for us. What makes Jalen such a good defender, and like, why is he why is he difficult to go against? You know, he's big. He moves laterally really well. You know, he's, he can jump, and he, he really cares. So that's what I would say. Brandon. Yeah.